Next up, surprise, Coinbase goes down as Bitcoin approaches 2019 highs. So what happened? U.S. crypto exchange Coinbase has disabled trading due to feed issues amid Bitcoin's ascension toward the price of 13880 What a day it was. Would have been even better if you could make some profits off that and sell it if you wanted to on Coinbase, but it went down again. According to a company update on Wednesday, Coinbase said it is currently investigating the issue, but no further comments provided. This is the exact same thing. It says every single time this thing goes down, that's why I'm a real non-believer in Coinbase. Coinbase has suffered a number of outages during busy trading periods this year, including on September 4th, the last time an outage caused trading to halt, according to the company's status page. So nothing against Coindesk. They do a fine job of, of doing all the reports, but it's lacking. It's lacking because it just sounds like, oh, I just did a couple times. Look, I've got two playlists on this YouTube channel. Two. One is is the essentials playlist, which is everything you should know about crypto and digital assets like bull runs and scams and what Bitcoin is and Ethereum 2.0, like, you know, the basic stuff. The second thing is all the different times that Coinbase has shut down because I refuse to have people just go, oh, just a little shutdown, no big deal. No, it keeps happening again and again and again. And there's no reason why a billion dollar company like that can't figure out the reason why we could actually make this thing actually up the time when it's needed most when Bitcoin goes up $500 or more. So this story that we talk about now uh, will also be included in that playlist. Unbelievable. And on top of that, I actually tweeted this out last night. I said, hey, Bitcoin's going up. Expect point Coinbase to go down. And of course it went down. And there was a there was a great comment from, uh, from Steve. He's the CEO of uh, Voyager. He goes, we all know there's a solution to that problem. It's called Voyager. When you connect to multiple exchanges and liquidity venues, if one goes down, the customer is still able to trade. And I was like, damn, that's true. <laughs> that's actually 100% true. So if you don't know Voyager, it's on my exchange of wallets uh, spreadsheet. It's my one, two, three punch, and I recommend it highly. I use it to, to buy in dollar cost average. And Steve's right, because the thing is, is that Voyager is not an exchange. Voyager is a brokerage. So it's just like hotels.com. When you want to find the cheapest hotel, you can go to individual hotels or just go to hotels.com and say, which one's the cheapest in Miami because I'm going to be there for whatever. And it finds you the cheapest. Same thing here with Voyager. Now, there are some problems with Voyager. That is admittedly true. Uh, you cannot take every single uh, asset off of the exchange. But just yesterday, they announced another asset, asset you could take off, which would be Cardano. So, I mean, of course, the big ones like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all those different things you can take off. There's some other ones. Well, now Cardano is one that you can take off. And they're working very diligently on it. I've had Steve on the show last week. He said they're working you know, really hard to get that that happen. They're going to support that uh, XRP airdrop for Spark. He says it will happen uh, again. Let's hold his feet to the fire and see if he does it. But I got a lot of trust in Steve. Seems like a good guy. Anyhow, if you want to sign up for Voyager, I got an affiliate link. You get $25. There's a link in the description. It looks just like this. We'll take you to the spreadsheet. And you can sign up right there. Super simple, easy peasy. On the flip side of that, and I'm going to make this really quick, Coinbase to launch a crypto debit card in U.S. retail spending. So this has already been available in Europe and the U.K. since April 2019. Now it's coming to the States except for Hawaii. That's the big thing. Uh, you get 4% back in Stellar and 1% back in Bitcoin. The question that I have is, are we really going to settle things with cryptocurrency or is it going to be like PayPal, where PayPal is going to be like, OK, you want to use Bitcoin? Sure, but we're going to settle in fiat. Oh, you want to use Litecoin? Sure, but we'll settle in, in cash. So that's the big question that I have. Another thing that I thought was interesting is that this is actually happening right now. And I think it is to keep up with PayPal and what they are trying to do. So uh, again, it's uh, it's a game of catch up. They should have done this a while ago, but uh, we'll see how it all works out. I personally don't see the point right now in uh, in doing this, but I mean, maybe it'll just lead to mass adoption. So I guess I had to tip my hat to Coinbase for getting this type of thing done, but uh, maybe they should have not worried so much about this and just keeping up their exchange up. Just saying, anyhow.